Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just filming an update with my stockpile haul. So just a few things that I'm adding to it. So I'll go through what I got and I'll also have a chat with you guys about some topics that are probably important. So first I've just purchased this mega ring from like an Asian shop. I think it was $7 for a pack of 10. So it's not cheap. It's probably the same price as your Coles and Woolies for this particular scenario. But I think Costco sells it cheaper. I just haven't had time to go yet. Also, one of my cousins actually works for a bar and they're allowed to grab a few free items every single week. So she was able to grab some of these beef jerky packets. Oh my God, guys, these are absolutely delicious and they're going to be great for the stockpile. I've already got one in my um bug out bag and i've just got another four packets here i'm probably just going to add to my stockpile you can get them at coles and woolies as well they're a little bit on the pricey end for these smaller packets um, if you buy in bulk i believe it's cheaper and i think costco has them as well also i just wanted to let you guys know on the news today this video is going to be going live so the day i record it is the day i'm going to be uploading it because i wanted to let you guys know in advance the news has informed us that there will be an increase in pricing for potatoes so roughly about 30 percent they're projecting it to be about 12 dollars for a four kilo bag of potatoes so just be prepared for that because i know a lot of frozen fruit and vegetables have already gone up by 15 percent and you know milk has gone up by i think 15 percent if you if you've watched my recent video it, which leads me to this Brushed potatoes are currently $3 for two kilos at Coles, so $1.50 a kilo. I think that sale ends tonight though, so make sure you go and get it tonight because the new catalog is released tomorrow, which means the price of potatoes are going to go up. Another thing to note, these are some new items that I got. This cheese spread that I'm going to be adding to my stockpile. I've actually made a few things with this and it's super, super tasty. It is a little bit on the pricey end, I think, because it's $2.90 for 240 grams. So the jar is quite small. Um, however, I think it's a good item to add to your stockpile. And I got pretty creative with this. I'll try to incl include one or two clips of the different type of meals that I've created with it. I'm going to insert it here for you guys. So guys, here's what I was talking about. It's essentially just some mashed potatoes really simple a tiny pinch of salt some milk you can add butter in as well if you like i didn't add butter in this particular scenario and then i topped it up with some of that jarred cream cheese you guys saw in my stockpile haul i heated the cheese up a little bit for it to be runny and gooey like that and then i topped it up with some sliced jalapenos and pickled chili that you guys would have seen in my stockpile haul and then i've also just diced some of that spam up into small little cubes and then I quickly pan seared it and then topped it on top as well. Super delicious. Also, another thing I got, these sliced jalapenos. I used to buy the Coles brand one because it was cheaper, but it's been out of stock for, I think, a few months now. So I did try other brands. I had a red jar last time. I can't remember the name of the brand. It was quite tasty because I find that the jalapenos – from the brands are a little bit more spicy than the Coles one so I do enjoy them more um, this one I've actually already opened and I've tried it super super tasty and I think this one works out to be the same price as Coles new price so love this I'm gonna grab another jar of this and another jar of this to add to my stockpile I think this one was four dollars I believe also, if you live in Sydney, you would know that COVID cases are kind of getting really bad at the moment. And I think we've had a cruise ship that's just pulled in that's full of COVID. Um, so what I've done is I've stocked up a little bit on some essentials, in my opinion. So I've got some Panamax, some Bisolvin, some Strepsils and some Codril day and night. I find that if you buy the behind the counter Codril day and night, it's a lot stronger and more efficient than the stuff that you can buy on the shelf. Just bear in mind with the Codril day and night, you can only buy one packet at a time and they and you need to show them your driver's license before you can buy it. But I find it so much more effective 
than buying the other cold and flu medicines that you can just get at Coles and Woolies. So pop by the chemist and grab your Codril day and night. I'm not sponsored by them, guys. I'm just letting you guys know because I find it so much more efficient than the regular stuff. Also, Strepsils. I love having that when I've got a sore throat because it soothes my throat pretty much instantly. So that's in my stockpile. And Bisolvin. I hate having a cough, guys. I don't get sick very often um, because I do try to keep my body in shape and I try to eat healthy most of the time. I don't eat healthy all the time, but I try to keep it like healthy most of the time. I would say 80% of the time. But I do love having Bisolvin on hand because this helps me recover quicker if I've got a chesty cough. Another thing that I've grabbed is this. I think it's, I don't know what this is called. I don't know how to read this language, but it is pickled mustard. I've already tried this and I love it. You can eat it as is, or you can cut it up into thin little strips and add it to your stir fry. Or I've even added this into fried rice before and I absolutely love it. So I've grabbed another one for my stockpile. Also, I wanted to let you guys know, Kit Kat currently have a taste tester thing. So have a look on their website. Essentially, you just fill out a form and then if you get selected to be part of the taste tester program, they send you out some free chocolates for you to try and then you just send in your answers for a survey. So it's quite simple, but you do need to fill it out because they will select candidates that they think are more suitable for their program. Let me know in the comments if you guys end up participating in the Kit Kat taste testers program. Make sure you guys fill out that form ASAP because I think there's only like a week or maybe five days left until they close that program. I just thought I'd let you guys know for those who are interested anyways. Anyways, this wraps up my update for my stockpile haul. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will try to provide an update with my stockpile haul every fortnight. Depending on the month, I probably will include an updated tour as well. Thanks for watching guys. Please hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed my video and subscribe to my channel. I do post videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. And I think most of the time I post bonus videos as well. So make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss out. And if I haven't covered a specific topic that you're interested in, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll film that video for you. Thanks for watching.